DJI just released a new. What are you doing? <laughs> you done? Okay. So DJI just released a new uh, software update uh, yesterday, I think, called uh, 1.00.06.00. <laughs> .00. And one of the features that they released is that they are adding something called 50 megabits bitrate mode. Uh, previously, it was only 25. So essentially, they've doubled the bitrate. Um, and bitrate is... <sighs> I mean, it's kind of hard to figure out exactly what it would be, but it's basically detail. Hi. Stop it. It's basically detail in the image, so it should just <laughs> uh, give a little bit more uh, more detail within each uh, frame that it sends back. You're not helping at all. Come here. Come forward. And give you... Uh, just a little bit more detail on what you're seeing while you're flying around. Uh, in addition to that, there's like different things like previously when you disarm the quad, it would turn off full power mode. So like if you're flying long range and you have a disarm or a fail safe, like you'd lose video because it would disarm at distance. And uh, then there's all sorts of stuff like just little uh, bug fixes here and there. But I've seen a lot of people already testing out the 50 megabits mode and they're like, what? This is crazy. Which, eh, I'm a little skeptical. Like, I'm hoping that it makes a huge difference and that it's awesome and that everything is, is fine and dandy, but I kind of am like, eh, 25 is pretty, pretty high already. Um, like, when I render my videos, like, I can't see the difference between 10 and 40, really, but, like, YouTube prefers 40, and I don't know. So, that being said, people are saying that they've tried the 25 and then they've tried the 50 back to back and they're like what the heck so what i'm doing is i've got my uh transtech beetle which we did a video about recently it's your favorite one right where that one Let me just leave that there didn't think so <laughs> i've got this uh running at um on the previous version which is 0.5 uh, we're gonna fly it around the yard. Um, Kyle's gonna help me. He's gonna chase it around and then I'm gonna take this back update it the controllers and the goggles um, and run it on 25 megabits mode or sorry 50 megabits mode and we'll be able to compare them back to back um, Obviously, I can't fly them both at the same time like one running in 25 and 150 uh, Because you know, I have to update it to get that to happen um, so we'll try do our best to kind of fly similar things and have them back to back and really peek into the, some of the pixels and see if, if we really can tell the difference between 50 and 25. Right? You want to chase some drones? You want to get the drone? I want to get it. I want to get it. Do you want to get it? Oh. Yeah, you want to get it. You want to get it. Oh, you're stepping on me. All right. So let's go grab the goggles and the controller and get flying. <laughs> Alright, so this is our first run on the normal 25 megabits mode, just here in the yard, hanging out with the doggos. Oh man, I've been flying analog for the last few days because I went to a race. I forgot how great DJI is. So I'm especially curious about like being here in the trees like this, like what's going to look different there. Or like along the fence or in the grass maybe. He's a good boy testing out the drone.
Kylo, no. Leave it. Oh boy. So that was the old 25 megabits mode. Looks pretty great. So now we're gonna plug it in the computer, update it to uh, the 50 megabits mode, the 1.6 version, and uh, come back and fly it again. Just FYI, when you have your radio on, this one is on 1.5, this is on 1.6. Plug it in. Goes green. Arms. This is on 1.6. Plug it in. Watch that. As soon as this goes to, as soon as the one comes on, it'll switch to red, and it will no longer be connected. One, and boom. Now it's red, now one arm. So having a mismatched version between your controller, goggles, and drone. The goggles and drone work, but the controller unbinds itself from the drone once the two are connected. Okay, so the one is on, that's on, and that's connected. So it's finally all connected and working. I'm gonna go outside. He's so ready for the drone already. Okay, so pro tip. If you want to run 50 megabits per second and to use the DJI remote, update the DJI remote by default. <laughs> It'll make your life a lot easier. Alright. It definitely seems a little crisper. Look at trees. Okay. I'm definitely seeing more detail in the grass. Like the grass kind of like gets a little washed out here and there when you're flying with 25. I can see all of the fence line. seems uh, like it almost seems like it's uh, lower latency. I know that's kind of uh, that's not a purpose of this. Like the purpose is not for it to be lower latency or anything like that. But it almost it almost seems that way. I don't know. That's only from a uh, qualitative perspective. I can't quantify that. It just it feels a little snappier. Yeah, I definitely am getting more detail in the trees and in the grass. Like, it's it's not... Like, it's like a 10% improvement, it feels like, not like a double the bit rate. I'm also... Let me see if I've got focus mode on. So, I'm landing. I'm switching to... Transmission focus mode is on. Let's try high quality focus mode off bitrate 50. Frame rate is noticeably lower. Milliseconds are higher. It's at 40 milliseconds now. But I'm still getting the bitrate. does look really good. Okay, but I'm going to turn off high quality. Settings. Back to low latency, focus mode, auto.
I can tell that I need to cut my grass. That's for sure. Oh, he was fast. <laughs> so yeah, just from flying it, like honestly, I'm I'm only seeing like maybe a 10-20% improvement. It's not like blowing my mind, at least not in this environment. Maybe if it was like in deep woods or something, and that's why I try to fly like up into that tree and stuff. Um, so yeah, so let's get on the computer and look at some frames side by side and see like if it's really muddy, like like if the grass ends up really muddy or something like that, or the leaves, and see if we can see a difference. So yeah, for now, looking great though. So we are back at the computer now, and we've got our footage here. So this last, no, or skip that one for now. Okay, so this is the 25 megabits mode. See that you're losing some detail, like right there. Let's see, so right now we're running 26 mil milliseconds, 25 bit rate. Uh, yeah, so that's looking good. Kind of losing it there. Details in the trees. Focus mode is off right in this moment, which is good. All right, so let's get some side by side. So like right, so you can see where focus mode starts there, and then like look at the detail there. Now I'm gonna pull media DJI go. Let's see, go Premiere. So this is set to frame size. Okay, so this is 25 megabits mode. Okay, so that's a good frame of just moving fast over grass. So we'll pull that and then scroll over here and pull in a 50 megabits set to frame pretty much the same spot so tons of grass in frame focus mode is on so we can ignore the edges and pull a screen if we go into downloads so on this side is focus mode or sorry this side is 50 megabits mode this side is not 50 megabits mode i don't know like i th think looking at like the house there's a big difference like the uh you can see a lot more of the reflection here and the chimney is kind of disappearing but it's also in shadow so that's not really useful looking at yeah but then so this is 50 this is 25 i mean there's there's more detail look at the trees in the distance uh, let's look at some trees i need a different clip from the yeah here we go so i'm gonna pull this one okay so mid tree Something like that. And I'll go back to this first one. I guess we'll use the front yard tree. Okay, there's a pretty good shot into the tree. Pull that. And what's yeah, I think what's bothering me the most right now is that I'm actually I'm spending so much time looking for a shot. Okay, so this one is the old, the 25 megabits. And this is 50. It's definitely crisper. Okay, so I, I could see a pretty big difference there. So like kind of fuzzy and you're losing some detail like look at the sticks like look at that stick there compared to on that side and um especially in the focus mode areas are even way worse um but yeah so i don't know with the um with the 50 megabits mode it's you know it's better definitely at least in high sun at this time of day but is it like mind-blowing i don't know it it it's not the, the, I think the thing that I'm the most excited about that I saw was that, you know, when I was flying, it felt more responsive, just a little bit. I'm not saying it was like, this is blowing my mind, but like maybe 10% better flying um, on the 50 megabits mode. Uh, but that being said, there's the downsides of not being able to fly with other people and you're you're only limited to a certain couple channels. So I don't know, but you can always turn it off, right? So, but yeah, so is uh, 50 megabits mode blowing my mind no but you know every incremental step definitely helps so i'm excited that they were continuing to push the fpv product that dji is still doubling down on making you know efforts to to make that product better uh, i'm so excited about that um and yeah i can't wait to see what kind of information what kind of things they can continue to push through with the with the with higher frame rates and megabits and all this stuff so Good on you, DJI. Thanks for doing this. Um, really excited that it's continuing to get better and better. And uh, I can't wait to stay flying.